with 22 contests to his name. At yesterday's weigh-in, he scaled 11 stone. Tonight, he wears the white and gold shorts. Please welcome from Sofia. Stafford College and his corner team Steve Woodvine Shay Johnson came across and had a word with me earlier on and Danny Johnson rather and he said be sure to mention Shay mentioned him twice <laughs> he's 18 today and watching somewhere Nathan's girlfriend Louise watching on and it seems that the whole of this auditorium hoping that he's going to provide a spectacular performance. Well, he's come in good condition, Nathan Heaney. Not an ounce of fat on him. Fairly big middleweight, isn't he? And uh, he looks much bigger than his opponent. Like I say, he's um, not, an ounce, not an ounce on him. So, yeah, he looks in very, very good condition. Must train very hard. And he's, he's actually boxing quite calmly for the first round in terms of what he's come into with the crowd. He's not, you know, boxing to the crowd. He's being sensible, working beyond his jab and just, just being patient. And that's a good approach for me. Massive ticket seller and hugely popular. Talk for Staff, Staff Amateur Boxing Club. And briefly for the Rotunda Club, the famous club up in Liverpool as an amateur. Some 90 amateur fights, fought at every weight, from light welter to light heavy. Dreamed as a kid of being a footballer. He feels, not surprisingly, that his Stoke fans give him so much extra. Well, fantastic support that he's had. I mean, Stoke's not, like I say, it's not too far from here. It's only about 45 minutes, but nevertheless, they've come down, 600 of them. That's, that's superb. And Heaney, as I say, boxing sensibly, working well behind his jab. He's using the uppercut there, and he's brought in a couple of good left ducks as well. Julian Markov, as an amateur, boxed in both the European and World Championships. Started off with a couple of wins and a draw, but wasn't making real money and decided that he could make more going on the road for cash. And if he's boxed for Bulgaria in those championships as amateur, then he, he would have been well-schooled because they have got a, a very good amateur system over there in Bulgaria, good coaches. Um, and yeah, they, they are well taught indeed. And so the opening round draws to its conclusion, and we'll get the thoughts of Richie Woodall in a moment or two. Okay, feeling good? Yeah, it feels good. Let's build on that now. Welcome back to Telford. Nathan Heaney taking the words of advice from Steve Woodvine, and he's fairly happy with what he's seen in that opening round. Yeah, it's a fairly good performance in that first round. I thought he was patient, he used the uppercut well there. 
He boxed well behind his jab also, looking, that's a cracking shot. So it's a patient start, and he can build, build from that now. Last fight was back in February, Nathan Heaney. On that occasion, he beat Ryan Oliver. Then on points, had one or two sticky moments. But was so so fit and so strong down the stretch. Four of his last five contests, though, have been ten rounders which have gone the distance. Oh, that was a good right hand there from him, and another one. Markov's chin being tested. I think Markov there was expecting the jab to come out, and um, Heaney threw a, just a straight right hand. Right down the middle that caught him, and another one. So two good shots there from Heaney, and he's looking for it again. Probably needs a little feint before he throws that right hand. A little feint with the left before he throws it. But nevertheless, he's been successful there. Good work from him. Long levers, Nathan Heaney. Terrific reach. And as you say, Richie, he does look in great shape, doesn't he? Looks in good nick. He really does. Obviously dedicated and trains hard. Just got to relax a little bit, occasionally, I said this in a couple of other fights that he's had, he tenses up now and again, but if he can just relax and get a little bit more speed into his work. But yeah, you're right, John, he's got good straight shots and uh, he's quite handy with the right uppercut also. Desperately keen to impress, of course, in this return to boxing in front of a live crowd here in Telford. There's a right hand though from Markov, landed on the target. Well, that's just a wake-up call, isn't it, from um, Markov there, that right hand over the top, so Heaney's just got to watch that left hand of his, occasionally drifts down, doesn't want, doesn't want to get too complacent. Markov again looking for the right hand, but gets beaten to the punch. Good straight jab there from Heaney. Good body shot, solid left hand from Heaney. Gamble in there is uh, Markov just standing in front, trying to take the shots on the, the arms and elbows, but a couple of body shots I think have got through here. And it's just slowed him up a little bit, hasn't it, Markov? Landing some big body shots. And Markov, I'm sure, is feeling the effects of them as he breathes a little bit heavily in the closing seconds of the round. A few combinations that I'm now. Stay switched off as you can see. Steve Woodvine in the corner with Nathan Healy, and he's saying, be patient, use the jab, break him down slowly. Yeah, it's, it's good, good corner work there. The coach is absolutely spot on, his jab's a great shot and the straight right hand also, but yeah, the, the coach is right, just keep you working with the jab. As we head into the third round. I thought in that last round, Markov just got a little bit lazy towards the end, the last minute of the round, he got a little bit lazy, held his feet, trying to block shots on his arms and his elbows, and Heaney got through with some good shots, and especially to the body, and that really slowed him up. And it seems to be more of the same now. He's going to get through this uh, as Markov. He's got to move them feet. Like I said, when you get lazy and hold the feet against someone like Heaney, well, he's just going to punch through you. Heaney, as we've said, a big middleweight, weighed 11 stone 5 against Markov, who tipped the scales at just 11 stone on the dot, and he does physically look so much the bigger man. And his passionate support will be enjoying what they're seeing. Our main event, of course, coming up after this, Daniel Dubois against Bogdan Dinu. WBA interim heavyweight title fight. Fighters will be gloved up 
in the dressing rooms and ready to go after the conclusion of this. Big, big night for Daniel Dubois. Good variation again from Heaney there. He's been throwing a lot of straight shots in this round, but then just changes the plane of that shot there. That right typical comes through the middle, finishes on the left hook, and look at him now working to the body. So he's just slowly but surely turning the screw here, Heaney. Markov not really finding the power to put Heaney in any sort of real discomfort so far. Oh, he's gone down from the body shot. That was power. Power of those body shots. A cumulative effect. He's landed a lot of them, and I don't think he's going to get up. It's all over. Nathan Heaney gives his fans the win that they want. Yeah, good left hook the body there from Heaney. And like you said, John, was an accumulator. He worked well to the body with three or four good punches before that, and um, they've all taken their uh, taken their toll and really had a big effect on him. That left hook, especially towards the end there, he felt it went down, done some damage down there, and thought, no, I don't want any more of this. So he, yeah, good performance. And like I said, he slowly but surely started to turn the screw. Good variation of shots, straight punches down the middle, but the right uppercuts and then the left hooks to the body, they did the trick. Stoke and Stoke City in particular have taken this lad to their hearts. They just love him. And they're celebrating as we thought they would. They loved him the moment he walked towards the ring. And now they are in jubilant mood. I think it's going to be a fairly boisterous sort of atmosphere wherever they head from here. <laughs> yes, indeed. And Any supporters all, all around the ring and all around the stadium, rather, and yeah, they're enjoying it. He's enjoyed it. It's been a good night for him and a good night for them. He's one of those fighters, isn't he? Who you feel when he looks out into the ring, out into the crowd like this from the ring, it's almost as though he knows everyone out there personally. And so many of them here, you get the impression they share that feeling with him. And here comes the Stoke City anthem again. at the football ground. Well, it was a good performance from him tonight. I thought he was patient. I thought he showed good variation. It was actually that right right hand, wasn't it, to the body. It did it. And, and also the left hook before that. But there's that little right hook around um, the left elbow, or under the left elbow, should I say, of Markov. And before that, there were three or four good left hooks that went in from Heaney. So they took their toll in the end, and Markov, he couldn't continue. Well, there's some talent around in the middleweight division. And Nathan Heaney showing tonight that he wants to be ranked alongside them and surely heading towards one or two big money occasions while his career is still very much alive. He's won tonight and won impressively, posing for the pictures. Dev Sani, our master of ceremonies, is about to pose for you in front of our camera tonight to confirm victory for Nathan Heaney. Ladies and gentlemen, your referee Kevin Parker calls a halt to this contest. The official time of the stoppage, 2 minutes and 13 seconds in round number three. Therefore, your winner by count out from Stoke, the hitman. Nathan!